Okay, exercise 2-4. This company, Idlevice Hotel, has gathered some information and they want to figure out the fixed part of their electrical cost. And the way you figure out the fixed part of a mixed cost is to first figure out the variable part. Well, they've asked us to use the high-low method. We have to start by finding the highest level of activity. And if we go down, we find that our highest level of activity was in August when we had 3,608 occupancy days. And we find that our lowest level of, of activity was in October when we only had 186 occupancy days. In occupancy days, it means an occupied room. So if they have 10 rooms and all 10 are occupied, that's 10 occupancy days. So using the high-low method, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the change in activity level and we're going to divide that by the change in cost. That's what we're going to look at. I have that backwards actually, but we're going to look at the change in cost And we're going to divide that by the change in activity. So we know how much the extra cost was. We know how much the extra activity is. We're going to ask what did each additional unit of activity cost us. And we do that by dividing the change in cost by the change in activity. So let's take a look here. At our high level, which was August, we had 3,608 days, and our, and our cost for those days was $8,111. Our low level was October, and during October we had 186 days, and our electrical cost were $1,712. So our change in occupancy days, how many more days we had, is 3,422. 3, and for those additional 3,422 days, let me make this a little smaller so you can see everything I'm writing here, sorry. It cost us $6,399. We've subtracted the low from the high. Now, theoretically, what you need to figure out, what you need to understand, is that this 1712 has both fixed and mixed costs in it. The $8,111 has both fixed and mixed, but it's got the same fixed cost in both. So if we subtract this from this, this entire $6,399 is variable costs. So if we divide the $6,399 by the change in days, 3,422 days, we find that comes out to $1.87. So each occupancy day costs us $1.87 in variable cost plus the fixed cost component. So now we're going to plug that back into our co total cost function. And just to remind you, the total cost function, I'm going to use my terms, total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost times quantity. That's the total cost function. Your book calls this Y, it calls this A, and it calls this BX. So let's plug that back in and see what we come up with. So we'll multiply. We have the total cost 
of 1811. Okay, because we're, or, I'm sorry, 1811, 8111. Because we'll plug it back into the high. You could plug it back into the low and get the same number. The total cost is 8111 We don't know the fixed cost. That's what we're looking for. And then we multiply the dollar eighty seven times the occupancy days, which was three thousand six hundred and eight. When we multiply that out, we find that this comes to six thousand. $747. That's what that works out to. So, what we need to do to find our total cost, or our, I'm sorry, we know the total. The fixed portion is we need to take our 8111 minus 6747, and that gives us the fixed cost of 13 64. So we'll just plug that back in, our total cost, 8111. Our variable cost, 6747. Therefore, our fixed cost element is the remainder, 1364. Nice little problem, gives you a chance to play with all the data.